teens, 1910 to 1920, he was the first Japanese American or Japanese to make uh, rice crackers here in the United States. He also made sende. You know what sende is? Okay, sende is kind of a round, flat one. We have all these molds still in our storage. And one of the molds he made for the 1932 Olympics. Wow. And it has a cross like this, a Japanese flag and an American flag to make the sembe. But what he used to do is, he used to take this round sembe, right, right after it comes out of the grill, he'd fold it like a taco. And he had haiku poems written in kanji. He'd put it inside, close it, pull the inhale. In 19, 1927, a Chinese company started manufacturing this cookie and started putting English fortunes inside of it. And that was documented from 1927 is when they started that. And they asked him, where did the idea come from? And the two gentlemen that were making it started giggling and said, well, it was actually developed by a Japanese American in Los Angeles. And that gave us some idea that it was through. All these years, Dad was telling us a story that Grandpa started the fortune cookie. And we used to tell him, come on, Dad, it's Chinese, of course, right? But the Chinese Historical Society of Boston, in 19, uh, 2003, they actually contacted me, and they tracked it back to us. And so that's how we found out, actually, for, for real. They found a newspaper, a magazine article, made in 1927. And so it was right before our 100th anniversary. So we're able to document it in our pamphlet, our 100 year anniversary pamphlet. We're very lucky and very fortunate. Because the two other companies that, that have claimed the fame of doing the fortune cookie went to court. One is a Japanese confectioner in San Francisco and a Chinese company here in Los Angeles. And the Chinese company won, of course, because all the Japanese lost everything during World War II. So there's no, there's very few artifacts to prove that we could do the fortune cookie. So, um, but anyway, they, they both went to court, and neither of them were the ones. <laughs>